Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today I will be doing a Patreon request for Orange. This is the return of Undernight in Birth. This one is from the game EXE Late. I'm not sure how many there are. There's a lot of Undernights and the names always confuse me, but what I do know from this series is that it's a little more on the hard rock and heavy metal side, so it's always fun. And I'm not really, I don't remember much about it to be honest. I don't remember who the composer is and all that. Maybe Raito, if that rings a bell, I'm not sure. Either way, it's been a while, so let's check out some Undernight in Birth. Let's probably head in. By the way, the song is called Blood Drain Again, which is a pretty menacing title. And I think I've only heard character themes up until this point, and I don't know if this is also a character theme or something else, but this is Blood Drain Again from Undernight in Birth, EXE Late. Sounds like it would be the uh, chorus section. Amazing guitar skills right now. And the bass too. <laughs> I was about to say it's the first time we have no lead. It's just all rhythm now. And we're back. A lot of uh, a lot of drum breaks. And then it goes back. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Interesting. Yeah, this has to be like the the hook, because it like picks up. It's a little more cheerful. This is my favorite part right here. <laughs> the bass and the guitar are kind of just shining while the drums are just... <laughs> Gotta end with the unison bend. Okay, well I don't have much to go off of because uh, from what I've, from what I think I remember of Undernight, everything I've been sent so far has been a character theme and at first I was thinking, no, nah, this isn't, maybe this is a stage theme or maybe some credits or something, but 
the more I think about it, uh, the name Blood Drain, again, maybe kind of tells me there's a vampiric character. I don't know. I'm not sure of the roster. I know the I know the roster is kind of unique. I only know one, and I don't know how to pronounce his name. I think it's Gord Gordo. I know he's purple, but he's got that kind of like it, it's not uh, out of the realm that it might be like some kind of fantasy type characters. So maybe a vampire isn't so far off. But you know when I think blood drain, that's like the first thing that comes to mind. But the part that confuses me, oh, is the uh, the fact that it says again. So maybe this is one of those reoccurring themes and this is not an original from this game, but as maybe like a remix or a different version of this theme, I guess. Uh, a little bit reminiscent of Sonic music, which is funny because this requester is responsible for most of the Sonic that's on this channel. So I'm noticing a kind of correlation of these uh, kind of high energy tracks that they may be a fan of. But it did actually kind of sound like Sonic a little bit. It's a little bit of the, the big arm sound was here, but not really, just just a little. It just kind of reminded me of mostly the drum side. But I did notice that, speaking of the drums, that there was a big emphasis on like the breaks. There was a lot of drum breaks, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, you don't hear that too often, especially in songs with this, this much aggression and speed. But they did way more than just that. I mean, the, the, the central theme of the drums were just kind of like, you know, this quick, fast tempo thing, but then it showed that it can groove later on during the section that I'll talk about in a second. And then, but yeah, but then all the little breaks in there that just kind of emphasize these little rest periods. And I'm not sure if that has to do with, if, if it is a character, I'm not sure if that's relating to the character at all. But I noticed that there was a lot of it and I don't know, I, it could just be an artistic choice, but kind of stuck out to me. And then the only other thing I have is just that little section towards, I believe the end of the loop where it was just kind of like super groovy. The drums actually took took a break and now like the drum, the bass is in front and it's like a more relaxed lead guitar. I thought that was really, really cool to bring it kind of all down to this happy medium and then just to bring it back up again. But speaking of the guitar, I, I feel like Undernight is right up my alley because it's so guitar centric. I feel like from what I've heard, everything is instrumentals, but just straight like emphasis on the lead shredding guitar, almost like Guilty Gear, except Guilty Gear has vocals. But I just can't help but notice like the guitar is like such a center point here. And they're just, he's like, almost flexing his ability to just kind of solo and do all these, you know, dive bombs and harmonics and these just scale runs. And I'm just like, damn dude, okay. Well, shit. <laughs> If you're a fan of stuff like this, you could look up any like neoclassical guitars like Yngwie Malmsteen or something, but I'm gonna recommend a, a favorite of mine named Jason Becker, who has a unique story of his own. He, he's pretty much paralyzed and can't play anymore, but he was like a, gonna be one of the best um, up and coming guitarists. Uh, anyways, you should look up the song Perpetual Burn if you're into this, and for my guitarist friends, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Anything by Jason Becker, really. And that's pretty much all I have for this. It's just, it's, uh, I really like, well, I really like guitars. So um, I always feel like when I really, really like something, I almost kind of don't have anything to say because I'm just enjoying it and I'm just kind of lost. And this is the first thing I hear today. So I'm just kind of like, yeah, sure. I'll take some, I'll take some shredding, you know? Well, why not? Like it's, it's just, <laughs> it's just fun and exciting. And I know it's a fighting game, so I know it's it has to have like that kind of energy with it too. Not all fighting games have that, but you know it definitely fits the idea of uh, this world. Even though I don't know much about it, all I know about this game is that it has, has some correlation with Melty Blood. I could be totally off about that, but it has like this kind of darker tone to it. That's another reason I kind of went with vampires. And yeah, so. I think the less I know about Undernight, the better, just because every time I hear a song, I can just use my imagination. Of course, I can just look stuff up, but that's boring. That's boring. That's boring. But I did look up one thing, and that's uh, what I thought of earlier, and the composer is Raito or Rieto. Uh, never heard of them. I know they've done stuff on this channel before. I just don't know what or what other games they've done, but I do know that it's him. So can't wait to hear more Undernight. I still have more Undernight, by the way. So. Yeah, and then my only experience myself with Undernight, which I've mentioned before, is I've covered 
Gordo's theme like a while ago because someone requested it. I had no idea what it was. But even back then I was like, hey, this this is pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool. And it had this kind of like classical kind of gothic feel to it. So even back then I knew it was kind of like this darker thing. I don't think there's any happy-ish... Th well, how do, I, how do I say that? I don't think there's any like overly happy themes in this game, I guess. It's more kind of on the aggressive cool side, I guess, is the only way I can put it. But alas, that was Blood Drain again. So thank you, Orange. If you want to request a song to me, you can do so on Patreon or PayPal. Either are totally fine. Those are guaranteed ways I will check out your song if you do not mind waiting. If you do not want to wait, there is the Platinum tier on Patreon, which Orange here was a part of. And a big shout out to my Platinum Septembers platinum members currently aiden justin kevin mushi mary and your average metalhead for being a part of that thank you guys so much thank you to everyone that you see over here and thanks to you for watching uh, more under night is on the way i love guitars i love fighting games i love video game music so <laughs> this is like the the jesse recipe so thank you again orange and i will see you dudes and dudettes in the next one my name is jesse this has been the auditorium 